launch mode enabled. Ready, George? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Welcome back to a new video. It's actually my favourite car as well. There's probably a bit of a split decision on this thing, but for me, it's a perfect car. The uplifted Smart 4.2. Where's the handbrake rubbish? Is that better? Say yes. So today is new car day, but not my new car, my dad's. That's my 77 year old father who has got liver cirrhosis and has days, weeks, maybe even hours to live. And he goes and buys himself a Model X ludicrous model Tesla. Now, we all need something to look forward to. We all need a bit of happiness in our life. And my dad hasn't had many of those days recently. So he's bought himself a new car to put a smile on his face. All right. Yeah, just... How's your Tesla? We've managed to work out how to get in it. Do you want to sit in it, Dad? Or... It's downhill here. Do you want to have a go in it? Really? Yeah. Pretend it. Oh, no, I'll drive. There's a quick change left. Do you want to drive it? No, sure. I thought you meant we'll drive it, I'll drive it. My dad bought this car, um, I don't know, it was about three weeks ago. Now obviously he has deteriorated, no doubt, but you saw what he was like at the wedding, which was a fair few months ago now. So my question is, and I don't want to start a war or anything like that, but what the hell are these people doing selling my dad this car in this state? This was a hundred thousand pounds. It's not about the money, it's about a duty of care. My dad can't even put the seatbelt on. He he can't function. He wanted to stop and put petrol in it. He doesn't know what's going on. And they sold him a hundred thousand pound Model X Ludicrous mode. Fair play. I'd want one if I was 77 years old, if I was in the right state of mind, which is not. So like I say, I don't want to start a war, but I just feel that the way these people have dealt with this situation is wrong. Sandown Select of Guildford is a Mercedes main dealer. The, my dad bought the car off them for £99,500. That's nearly £100,000. When I saw the car and I asked my dad to show me how it worked, etc, etc, this was six days in after the sale. The car had not done a single mile. It sat on this drive. I rang them up and said, listen, I'm really, really sorry. I apologise for this, but the car my dad cannot use this car he's not well enough it's too complicated like it's this car isn't complicated but it's different now my dad's 77 years old and you sort of can't teach a old dog new tricks or whatever it's called but there's a lot of stuff which is difficult and until you get used to it he's not going to be able to use it he can't use a sky remote he's not going to be able to use a tesla anyway so i rang him up long story short which obviously now it's not too short it's too long six days in i said I want you to have the car back. They said no. And I said, listen, you shouldn't have sold him the car. They said no. So 
I said, I don't want to fall out. I don't want to start arguing over this. I just wanted to have the car back. So eventually they said to me a few things which were quite important. The car would be easy for me to sell. So why can't they sell it? Number two, they said, if it was a Mercedes, they'd have it back. It's not a Mercedes, but they sold in the car. What difference does that make? Why couldn't they have it back? Number three, they said, I'll tell you what, we'll do you a favor. We will have the car back for 90,000 pounds. So 9,500 pound profit in six days when my dad hadn't used the car. All about money, all about money. And I gave them chance to have this car back. We'd have took a hit, delivery, whatever it was, whatever it needed to be, but 9,500 pound for not a single mile in six days after he bought it. They also told him a couple of things. This was Simon Cowell's old car, which is pretty cool. I like Simon Cowell. Also, they told him it had been wrapped by Yanomai's. Now it hadn't. It had originally when Simon Cowell had it, but it had been done afterwards. They don't know I know Yanni. So straight away I rang up Yanni and said, my dad has bought a car which you wrapped. So I told him, he said, oh, like metallic, um, metallic uh, red. And I said, no, it's actually carbon. He said, oh, okay, no, I didn't do that. Now again, did they lie about the wrap, the Yanomai thing, which obviously is a good selling point, or did they not really know? There's a few lies going on and a bit of deceit and a bit of badness going on, which I've got anyway. So many things wrong. They should have had the car back. They should not have sold my 77 year old father, who like I say, is definitely worse than he was, but he was still extremely bad when he bought that car. We all have got a different lifestyle. We all have different opportunities. Some are more fortunate than others, but let this be a lesson to you, which it has been to me, is live your life the best you can. Like my dad has got money to buy a hundred grand car and he can't use it. He's got money to go on holiday. So, so lucky he can't go on holiday. He's stuck in them four walls, not even be able to put bullseye on without the carer doing it for him. So like I say, live that life the best you can. We're only here once, and if you do it once, once is enough. So motocross has always been my thing and lots of people have messaged me saying they'd like to see me on a bike again. I don't really want to go on a bike again because it hurts too much, but all the way through my sort of like teenage years, I race motocross. That's why I stand funny, walk funny, uh, take lots of CBD or just the damage which it's done to me, but I do love motocross. As a family, we always used to go to Western Beach Race every year, stop in a hotel. It was our family holiday once a year. I want to do it one last time which is crazy and my body probably won't allow it. I'll probably, probably end up in A&E, but this time I'm roping my two best mates in. So Brett and Darb are gonna come and do it with me. Will they be able to get round a lap of maybe the toughest endurance sort of race in the world? Probably not, but it's gonna be a bit like the old saying, we never leave a man behind. So come down and join us, um, meet my family, come and see my mom and dad. And then if you wanna come and help, bring some tools, and if you're a doctor or a nurse, in fact, bring your ambulance down and we'll cut out the middleman. <laughs> Those bikes are live! All right, pal. Was that live? <laughs> Senna, you okay, mate? Yeah. Where's your ears gone? It's okay, it's stopped now. Should we do it again? No. Welcome to day three of trying to start a motocross <laughs> You want that then? Injector's working. Yep. Yeah. Injector's working. Very so, clever man. Very, very clever man. So it's not receiving the signal from maybe this or the crank sensor. Getting the angle this jawed. <laughs> Almost looks like we know what we're doing. Can we take that off now? <laughs> yeah. It's making me nervous. <laughs> we can make an hour out of this, George. Starting the motocross bike, the movie. Now we're going to put, but if we put power to that, it's covered in petrol and it's going to spark. It's not going to spark. Because we're going to well, connect, that, that we're going to connect the wires first, and then we'll do, it, we'll do it on the back. So we'll have spark that in. Yeah, you got oh, it. Oh, that's a clever thing. Yeah. See? For oh, sake! Oh, good work. Well, the Western preparation is took a turn for the worse. <laughs> So one of the main concerns for me and for probably you is the electric consumption. So it says on the dash how far this car can go, but how accurate is it? Because if we know, if it's wrong, we're not getting home. So right now it's saying we've got 218 miles left and we're on 3475 miles on the car. Let's see just how bad this is. So obviously on a serious note, we do need to sell this car. Mercedes Guildford have uh, done my dad over. 
let's face it. So now it'd be really good if any of you lot were, want a deal on the car. So it's done 3,000 odd miles. It's a 19 plate. It's beautiful. Model X Ludicrous. Hit me up on Instagram, markmccann64. Let's get it sold. And this hasn't been around the track. George, cut the clip. Only joking. No, it hasn't been around the track. Launch mode enabled. Now, I don't know what I was expecting, but I weren't expecting that. Ready, George? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> oh my head by the bloody door! That is absolutely ridiculous. 0 to 60, 3.6. Don't trust what that says because it's nowhere near that. Not even close to that. Crocky, that proper gave me a oh. knock on the old noggin, that did. Okay, so the results are in of the mileage test in the Tesla Model X ludicrous mode we've actually done exactly 30 miles okay so 30 miles but the battery level on the dash has decreased 105 miles so it's basically done three times less or well, nearly four times less the miles than what it says on the dash so that means if you buy a tesla and it's got 400 miles range if you drive it like mark mccann it'll only do 100 miles <laughs> Elon! <laughs> you alright Mark? Turn that thing off. <laughs> Hang on, I need to get out of this. <laughs> Where are you? Oh, you're over there. Do you reckon you're in a fit state to do an outro? Oh. I feel like this is the perfect time. <laughs> ruthless, absolutely ruthless. Don't forget the merch. See you next Tuesday. Don't buy an electric car. <laughs>